everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be unboxing the My Fashion Crate for May 2019. My Fashion Crate is a monthly fashion subscription where you can get fashion, accessories, and all sorts of things like that, sometimes some beauty as well. There are three different size boxes. I get the premium box, which is the biggest one. This is $49.95 a month plus $5 shipping. There's also the essentials box, which comes with less items and is $35. And then there's the accessories box for $25. Um, they will show me, I won't know what's in the accessories box, but it will show me the difference between the essential and the premium box. And I do feel that it is worth it to get the um, premium box over the essentials box. Um, if you're interested in signing up, I will leave a link down below. Let's go ahead and get in. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of different unboxings here from fashion, home decor, beauty, bath, and everything in between. So if you love subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe. And let's get on in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just pull everything out of this shiny bubble mailer. And on top, it lists on the front everything that you get in the essentials box and then it adds the premium items there. So it looks like there's one, two, three, four, and the fourth item has a bunch in it in the essentials box and then two in the premium box so let's go ahead and start with the first thing here and this is the spring blue floral chiffon blouse let's open this up now you do get to pick your size um they do have plus size options which i think is great but if you do get the plus size box you're gonna have different clothes than what i'm getting um they tend to have different clothes because different body shapes look better i guess in different things um so you may get the same things you may not I know there's other YouTubers who do do plus size unboxings if you're curious. So, this is, oh my goodness, what the blouse looks like. It is very see-through, so you definitely have to wear something underneath. There's no questions about that. Like, can you see my face through that there? I don't even know. Okay, they say this is, um, this flowy blouse is such a gorgeous way to rock florals this spring and summer. We are falling in love with the lightweight material and adorable bell sleeves on this top. It's so effort effortlessly cute. This delicate blouse is perfect for changing spring days. Um, featuring blue color, it is so beautifully stylish and easy to, lo uh, to love. Wearing with jeans or white leggings, they say it's 38 bucks. There's no way that's 38 bucks. They do kind of inflate the value of some of their clothing items. These are probably made in sweatshops, which is the unfortunate piece of some of the stuff you get here because they seem to be very cheaply made, but there's kind of like a ruffle there and there. I'm curious to try this on. Definitely have to wear an undershirt underneath. I'm okay with floral pattern, but this one is not my favorite. And then there is a little um, tie at the front. I'm curious. This seems very like boobs out. <laughs> so we're gonna have to see about that because I don't have, I don't, first of all, I don't have boobs. Second of all, I'm not a boobs out type of person. So we will figure that out when I try that on. I will try it on at the end so you can see. Um, the next item is an August bamboo sunglass blue planet eyewear. Okay. And this sunglass is an update to a classic woman's style. It features a natural bamboo um, uh, temples with spring hinges and offers 100% UVA UVB lenses. Each pair of Blue Planet eyewear is made with recycled and or natural materials help eliminate waste and draw um, from more sustainable sources. The retail value is $45. I'm curious if that's actually like, do people pay $45 for these? So let me try these on. That's what they look like on. I mean, I feel like I look like a dad. I don't know why. I feel like I look like a dad. I don't know where that came from. Do you like them? I'm not sure if I like them or not, but these are good ones to pop in the car. I like, I always keep sunglasses in the car that do not have metal here because if they are sitting in your car or even here, anywhere that's going to touch your skin, if they have metal and you live in a hot car in the summer, you are going to burn yourself. So these would be good ones to pop in the car. I don't know. Do you like them? Do you not? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them. They're cool. They do feel pretty good quality actually. And I like the bamboo, um, handles. Is that what they're called? I'm not sure. Um, the next thing is a fashion floral collar bookmark. Um, and this is what it looks like. So if you just put it on your book, that's what it looks like. That's actually kind of cute. I like that. I do read, so that'll be fun to use. I'm actually reading a book right now so I can switch out the bookmark. Um, this is an adorable fashion page keep, keeper divider. Their English is interesting sometimes. This unique style PVC bookmark is a great additional to your reading and daily planning. Value $4. Cool. 
I probably would pay like a dollar for this, but it is kind of cute and I think that it's cute to put on the book. So that's fun. The next thing is um, a lip service gift, gift set by Mirabella. Retails for $30 and it has a bunch of different items in here. So I'm curious, let's see. Um, it has five lip items. Oh, okay, this is an interesting pull. That's not what I expected, okay. There's not a lot in here for 30 bucks, but we'll get there when we get there. So first there's like a set of these little, three little things here, and then this. Oh, <laughs> the bag counts as one of the items. But you can take the little, there's a little card in there, so you can take that out so that the bag like, yeah, I can actually use as a bag. But so the bag counts as one of the five. It says lips without lipstick are like cake without frosting. All right. So the first thing is a little um, lip plump conditioning mask. These usually don't make a huge difference on my lips, but sometimes they're just fun to wear. You look a little silly. This seems, I don't know. I'll try it out. Then there is a lip definer in Spunky. I'm not gonna swatch these because I think I'll probably give these away. Um, the next one is a gloss. The gloss actually looks pretty nice and pretty, but that's a pretty color gloss. Again, I'm not gonna swatch any of this because I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep it or not yet. And then the last thing is a lipstick and mulberry mocha. So that's what it looks like, a little tube. And that is the color there. That's actually a pretty color. I'll probably use that. And actually the lip liner spunky would go well with that. So that's actually kind of cute. Um, I do not think that that's, I don't know who would pay $30 for that. Um, I, I'm not even sure I'd pay 10, but it's cute. It's fun. It's a little addition to the bag. So that's everything you got in the essentials box. And to me, that's not really worth the money for the essentials box, but the premium may be worth it. There's a couple more items. So let's go ahead and check them out. The next thing is a button-down blue dress. Let's get it off the plastic before I talk. This dress is such a must-have for the new season, featuring a timeless light blue colored paired with a classic button-up silhouette. We love the delicate light blue poplin material. It's easy to love wearing all day long. Retail for 55. Again, would not pay 55. Okay, so this seems like it is just a really long, like, business blousey thing. You know, like, put my suit on to go to work, but it's just, like, longer. So that could be cute. I'll have to see how it looks cinched around. The material actually doesn't feel that bad. It actually feels kind of good. Um, I feel like this is more like a, a lounging around thing, but I'll try it out. I would... I, I don't know. I'll have to see it on to see if it's going to work or not. But that's kind of what it looks like. It just looks like a really long shirt. But again, it looks like it might be kind of short as a dress. So I'm curious to see this on. If you're shorter, it may work better. But then again, we'll just have to try that on in a second and see. And then the last item is a You Are Awesome cotton tote bag. Um, so let's take it out of here. Okay, so this is this tote bag um, is a basic bag you've, been, bag you've been looking for. The canvas tote is perfect companion for a variety of activities like grocery shopping, daily errands, craft projects, day trips, and travel. It also has a great reminder message. Retail, $30. No. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not paying $30 for this. It is cool. It's actually pretty decent quality. And then on the inside, there is actually a little pocket. So it's like a little bit fancy for a um, canvas tote bag, but like not that not not $30 like the only time I'd spend a lot of money on like a thing was if it was like Gucci or something <laughs> you know like a designer brand but that's cool it's cute um tote bags are always good to have around I feel like I have a lot of them but it's okay um this month let me, well you know let me sum it up in a second I want to try them on but so far I'm not super duper impressed with this month but let's try on the clothes um and then um I'll wrap up with final thoughts all right I hate this <laughs> uh this is not I just don't like the way it looks. It's extremely see-through, so you can see where my leggings end. I do have this, this a tank top underneath. You would actually need to wear a tank top with it, unless you have big boobs because of, it does have this little tie here. I, what I really don't like about it, my least favorite part is this neckline. Like if the neckline was like decent, I don't know. I just really don't like the neckline. The sleeves are kind of cute, but like this just isn't my vibe at all. I don't 
I don't like it. Let me know what you think. If you like it, maybe I'll try it out more, maybe even just because it's not something that I would normally purchase, but no, it's a no for me right now. So just let me know how you think and let's try on the dress. All right, so here is the dress. Um, I don't hate it. I still think I need to warm up to it. It needs to be ironed, um, obviously. Um, and I've left it kind of unbuttoned here. I just think it looks better like like this vibe, like with the necklace. I think that that actually is kind of cute. I'm not sure how it looks full picture and it's kind of hard to see my shape and I don't know if that's because of like the wrinkles in the dress. Um, I am wearing black underwear, which is probably not what you should wear. It does cover my butt pretty well. Like this comes up high, which makes me nervous, but this does come down um, pretty far. I don't like, I don't hate it. I don't know if I should be styling it differently, like maybe put a, a, an actual visible belt because this does have this little tie string here, but I'm not mad at it. I actually think it's kind of cute. I don't own anything like it at all. Um, and I think it's something to get me out of my comfort zone. You can um, roll the sleeves up too, um, but I kind of like them down. I don't know, like, I kind of like it, but like, I don't always know what looks fashionable and good. So let me know in the comments. Am I like being delusional right now? Do you like it? I think it's okay. I think it's kind of cute. I mean, I would not wear this to work. This would be more like a going grocery shopping or whatever type of thing or going out for lunch with friends. But um, let me know, I'm curious to see, and let me talk about my final thoughts. All right, final thoughts. So I thought this was like a meh kind of month. Um, that's how it kind of, they have really awesome months and then they have some kind of like blah months. And this is kind of a blah month. I do think that they're, they're kind of fun. And I know that like there's Luxury Divas, which is a lot cheaper, but I just, I find that this one, I, I tend to like more of the items that I get. Um, I, the dress, I think I'm gonna play with and see if I like want to make it work. I mean, obviously there's a lot of like wrinkles and stuff like that, but I like the material, it feels good. Um, and it has, oh, it has a little pocket. I didn't even realize that. Um, so I'm curious to see what you have to think of that. The glasses, you you know, you can always, it's not, to have an extra pair of sunglasses is not a bad thing. And these actually are pretty, pretty nice. I'm not sure how I feel about them on, but again, they're a good pair of car sunglasses. It doesn't have to be cute. The bookmark I think is super duper cute. The lip kit is kind of meh to me. Tote, don't really care about, and the blouse is, I think it's a no for me, but let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm hoping next month is a little bit better, but let me know what did you think this month. Everybody's different. Everybody likes different things, so let me know. Again, I will leave a link down below if you are interested in signing up. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video.